My dear friends in Christ, today Jesus invites us in a special way to come to him, to bring our burdens to him. To help us understand the reason why Jesus invites all of us today. Today's gospel is a continuation of yesterday's gospel. So here, Jesus is trying to make us understand that he is the revelation of God the Father. Because during this time, so many people never believed in Jesus. Because that was right after his baptism when John was put in the prison. John was in the prison and Jesus began his priestly ministry. And while he was preaching, John heard about him and sent his disciples to go and ask Jesus, is he the one who is to come or do we wait for someone else? Then Jesus told the disciples of John to go and report back to John that the blind have seen, the lame are walking, the dead is being raised, and the message of salvation is being preached. And when the disciples of John returned back to John to, re to give him the answer that Jesus gave, then Jesus started to let the people know that he is the revelation of God. That even though when John came and preached, so many people believed, but some did not believe. And the preaching of John converted so many souls, but Jesus made them to understand that he himself is the revelation of God the Father. In other words, there is something greater in him that people have not seen. And after saying this, Jesus frowned at, at those that have never embraced the message of salvation. And then he said that he thanks God the Father for revealing this truth to the childlike and hidden it to, the, to those that think that they are wise. And after this, he now said, come to me, all you that labor and overburden, and I will give you rest. In other words, this invitation reminds us, my dear friends in Christ, that in Jesus, there is salvation. In Jesus, that is all we need, and we have to come to him. The question is, this, how do we go to Jesus? As we are here celebrating this Mass, Jesus is right here present in the Eucharist, in the Mass. So all we need to do is to dispose ourselves is to acknowledge that we are in the presence of God. Jesus is in the Holy Eucharist. When you receive the Holy Eucharist, we receive Jesus, soul, body, divinity, and blood. That is him. When we gather for adoration, we are in the presence of Jesus. So what we need to do, my dear friends in Christ, is to acknowledge his divinity, is to acknowledge that without him, we can do nothing. And when we believe that he is in our midst and bring our petitions and bring our burdens to him, I bet you he will help to take that burden down. He will take it from you. But we have to believe. In him, that is fullness of joy. I keep reminding people that there is a difference between joy and happiness. Happiness comes from the things we eat and drink, from vacations, but joy comes from God. Happiness can never last forever, but joy lasts forever. 
So we have to always seek for joy. And we can gain this joy when we are in his presence and acknowledge that he is our Lord and Savior. And acknowledge that with him all things are possible. And acknowledge that when we come to him and ask him to take control of our lives, he will do so. So my dear friends in Christ, let us heed to this invitation. Whatever is bothering you, whatever burden that you are carrying, come to him. Acknowledge his presence around you. Give him your burden. Allow him to take control, and he will do so. Like St. Augustine will tell us, our souls will never rest until it rests in the Lord. Let us come to him and bring our burdens. He will help us to take down these burdens.